Hello and welcome to Titan HQ. In this video, we will walk through Web Titan MSP Cloud. We will specifically focus on white labeling the interface, creating a default policy and explaining the policies, and onboarding customers. When you have a Web Titan MSP Cloud created and handed back to you by your account manager, you will receive your login details. You will also receive your two IPs for DNS forwarding. These IPs are yours and yours only. Nobody else, only you and your customers will be using these IPs for forwarding. First of all, we can white label the interface. So when you log in, you go to the settings and interface settings tab. Here you can upload your logo, change the page title, you can also change the color scheme of the interface. This is extremely useful, especially if you're giving access to the interface to your customers. You can also edit the default block page. So this is the page that is rendered when a user goes to a blocked domain. This is a global template that all new customers will receive once you onboard them. When you do onboard a customer, you can edit their particular block page as well. So the block page can be edited at a per customer basis also. The next section is the default policy. This again, similar to the block page, is the policy that a customer cre receives once you create them. Again, this can be edited per customer as well. We have the web broken down into 53 predefined policies, ranging from alcohol, cars and transport, pornography, gambling, malware, spyware, spam, criminal skills, and so on. It's a simple traffic light system. It's red for block, green for allow. So this would be your default policy we would recommend creating a security focused policy and we can do this for you. There's six categories that would need to be blocked to support this. We have one of the world's leading categorization databases behind the scenes, which is constantly being updated live 24 seven without any human interaction required. Safe search can be enabled this is an extremely popular setting if it's a public Wi-Fi, a school, even in an office Wi-Fi environment. When, once this is enabled, this enforces Google Safe Search, YouTube Restrictive Mode, and also Bing Safe Search. YouTube Restrictive Mode can be edited to moderate or disabled on MSP Cloud versions. You can also set up notifications so if you have blocked alcohol, you would tick beside alcohol, enter in an email address here. This email address will receive a notification anytime anybody goes to access an alcohol related domain. You can also create global level whitelists and blacklists. We also populate the whitelist with the Microsoft domains so Microsoft updates can be pulled down without any issues. The next tab is the customer settings tab. This is the multi-tenancy. You can onboard as many customers as you wish to this platform. You simply come to the customer settings tab and click add. Then you enter in the customer details. So the customer name or account name, the description and license fields, these are identifiers for you. This license has no bearing on the license agreement you have with Titan HQ. This is mainly an identifier for you for this customer. The email address and password, you can create a login email address and password, supply that to your customer so they can come to the same URL, log in, and they gain their customer level access. They see their own settings, their own policy, and their own reporting. If the customer is in a different time zone to your servers, 
you can select their time zone from the list so the reporting shows accordingly. When you have onboarded a customer, this is when you can configure them. I will show this in another video. But this is the multi-tenancy version where you can onboard as many customers as you wish. To view the customer settings, you click impersonate to the right hand side of this account. And this shows you the information for this customer. You can view their policies, reporting, block pages and so on from within here. You can have scheduled reports and also for notifications, an email server must be placed into Web Titan. This is simply done on the System Setup, Network and Email Settings tab. We just need an email server where we can send the mail to for delivery. Generally you would enter your 365 or your on-premise exchange server details here. So you'd enter in the IP address or the FQDN of those. The dashboard in this view, seeing as this is the MSP level access, this gives you an overview of all the traffic that has come through Web Titan. It shows you how many requests, how many were allowed, how many were blocked, bypassed. That is where we have a bypass token that you can give someone at that location. So when they see the block page, they can enter this token and gain access to that website. You will receive a line chart of throughout the day that will show you the volume of traffic throughout the day. And this can go back to the last year, seven days or all time. You'll see your top blocked and allowed categories, top blocked and allowed domains and your top users. Users in this case are your customers. So this will be your customer's volume of DNS requests. That is an overview of the MSP Cloud portal. The main aspect of configuration and setup is all done within the customer account, which I will show in my next video.